Hey there, this is Anna from For Real. Have you ever experienced the iPhone lock to owner message or the iCloud activation lock? It's annoying. It can feel like someone's putting a brick wall between you and all your favorite apps. But don't worry, I've got your back. In today's video, we will explore multiple ways to remove this annoying lock from your device. And yes, before you ask, these methods are legal and will work for your iPhones, iPads, and Apple Watches. Many services, paid software, and methods claim to do this job. But let me tell you, not all of them are as safe and effective as they claim to be. Do you want to avoid using a useless, bricked device? So sit tight as we unlock that iCloud and remove the iPhone lock. Today we reclaim your device. Let's get started. Before we start, I want to remind everyone that what we discuss should only be used responsibly. This is aimed at folks who own their device and need help remembering their login details. We're not here to help anyone break the rules, like messing with security on stolen devices. That's not cool. It's essential to follow the law and respect other people's stuff. Our video sticks to YouTube's rules and community standards. All right, with that said, let's move on. We're walking on a unique path here, learning and exploring some excellent tools. So let's dive into the heart of the matter and chat about these four powerful tools designed to help you interact with iPhones locked to their original owner. We're starting the conversation with Safe Unlocks. This tool works wonders by providing a simplified way to unlock iPhones. It's built on deep and meaningful technology and is incredibly easy to use. Next, let's chat about Locked to Owner. If you've ever felt frustrated because you can't use an iPhone locked to its previous owner, this might be your rescue. It's designed to help you navigate these restrictions and use your iPhone hassle-free. Moving along, let's introduce the iUnlock app. This mobile application removes the barrier set by the original iPhone owner. It's user-friendly and straight to the point, ensuring you get assistance. It's one of those tools you can count on to give you superb results without much back and forth. Finally, we've got Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. This tool merges technology with functionality. Imagine having an intelligent AI assistant guide you through everything. Sounds great, right? That's precisely how this unlocking web app works. It's like having a friend who knows how to unlock iPhones and is ready to share their knowledge. That's the gist of these services. Next, we'll dive deep into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. But before that, there's something crucial to keep in mind is that these unlocking services function mainly in first world countries. If you're situated elsewhere or you don't feel like using these services, don't sweat it. We've got you covered. You can be among the 250 lucky users who receive weekly unlocks by keeping up with our videos. And the best part is that entering is as easy as pie. Here's what you have to do. First things first, like this video. Secondly, hit the subscribe button. And for the finale, drop a comment below stating your phone model. For example, Samsung S9, your IMEI, and your country. Just like that, you're in. Complete these steps and you're automatically entered into the running. Good luck! All right, let's discuss how you can unlock your iPhone using unlockhere.com, a nifty web app powered by an even niftier AI assistant. The process is straightforward. Start by whipping out your phone or booting up your computer, then navigate to unlockhere.com in your browser. You'll be greeted by a friendly AI bot named Nifty. Click on the activation lock option and let Nifty know you want to perform an iCloud unlock. It would help if you let the system know what device you're working with. In this case, select iPhone. But don't worry, there are iPad and Apple Watch options too, if you ever need them. The next step is to input either your IMEI or serial number. Now what's the difference? Here's the scoop. iPhones all have IMEIs, so if you're unlocking an iPhone, go with the IMEI. iPads and Apple Watches can have IMEIs if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but most often they just come with a serial number. So, if you're working with one of those, use the serial number. To find this info, press the sleep button on your locked device, press it again, and tap on the I symbol on the bottom right to view your device info. Then, remember to input your device information in the next step. It's pretty simple. Follow the prompts. Next, you'll need to enter some basic info so we know who to tie the order to. Ensure to use valid information since you'll receive an order confirmation via email. And hey, check that email because you'll get a confirmation code that you need to confirm. Once you've done all that, you'll need to check that you agree to the terms and that you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. 
solve that quick captcha to prove you're not a robot, and tap on Start Process. Now keep an eye on that email. You'll receive a message with a confirmation code. Remember to peep into your spam or junk folder if it lands there. With the code in hand, head back over to the Unlock Here website. Enter the code, confirm once more that you're a human, not a robot. Tap enter, and boom, your unlock process begins. Your device will soon be free of its previous restrictions. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. And that's it for this part, folks. Stick around, we've got another method coming up next. Let's talk about alternative ways to free your iPhone from that pesky iCloud activation lock. We're not just talking about random methods, but legal and doable ones. So buckle up and get ready to dive in. First things first. Remember good old Apple support? Well, they're there for a reason. You can contact them with proper proof of purchase, and they can assist you in getting past the iCloud activation lock. Ensure your receipt is legit and shows that the iPhone was purchased from an official Apple store or an authorized reseller. But wait, what if you're not the first owner of the iPhone and need the receipt? If you've bought the iPhone from someone else, you can ask them to remove the iCloud activation lock. All they'd need to do is sign into their iCloud account, choose the device they've sold you under the Find My section, and hit Remove from Account. Easy peasy. Need help connecting with the previous owner? Don't fret. There are iCloud unlock services out there you can turn to. Pick a reputable service that respects your privacy and follows all legal guidelines. You'll be surprised how effective and quick these services can be in removing iCloud activation locks. That's it for now, folks. Stick around because we're discussing a different method for unlocking your iPhone. Keep those learning caps on.